Reutlingshof, just outside Stellenbosch, is one of South Africa's historic wine estates. Marked by an iconic avenue of stone pines, the estate produces all its own grapes. It also makes, matures and bottles all Nietlingshof wines on the estate. Thanks to a diversity of planting slopes, ideal soil types and grape cultivars perfectly matched to the terroir, the estate has been able to successfully cultivate no less than 13 single cultivars. Nietlingshof's 100 hectares of plantings are split roughly 50-50 between red and white cultivars on elevations ranging from 65 to 282 meters above sea level and thrive in some of the most ideal soils for viticulture. The higher elevations of the Bottleray Hill consist mostly of oak leaf. This deep, apedal soil has excellent water retention capability and a high buffer capacity thanks to its 10% clay content and general lack of stones. On the lower slopes and the valley floor, the predominantly Tukulu soil type has a similarly high buffer capacity, but being slightly less fertile, naturally inhibits foliage growth in favor of fruit development. Both oak leaf and Tukulu soil types contain a mix of clay and decomposed granite that releases moisture over extended periods. To help protect the vines from stress and achieve optimal flavor intensity, the most heat-sensitive white cultivars such as Sauvignon Blanc and Riesling are planted primarily on the higher, mainly southern slopes facing False Bay. The rows are diagonally oriented to the prevailing winds to optimize the cooling flow from the Atlantic breezes from False Bay through the blocks. Visible from the higher slopes, the sea is only 13 kilometers away. Lower down the southwest slopes, the temperature increases by up to 6 degrees, which suits the hardier blocks of Chenablanc, Chardonnay and Shiraz. The southwest facing hillside is also home to Nietlingshof's oldest vines. The much-loved Gewürztraminer was planted in 1988 towards the lower slope, while the Riesling, planted in 1986, is still growing strong and harbors the spores needed to produce the estate's most awarded wine, the noble late harvest. Over the crest of the hill to the north side, the terroir is in general more suited to red grape cultivars as well as some select whites. Merlot and Viognier blocks occupy the highest position towards the north corner of the farm, with three Malbec blocks on the northeastern slopes. Cabernet Sauvignon, Stellenbosch's signature cultivar, occupies a large part of the southwest facing slope. The heavy, clay-rich terroir is ideally suited to the cultivar, and the vines thrive, producing an average yield of 12 tons per hectare. The Cabernet Sauvignon is planted alongside smaller blocks of Petit Verdot, Cabernet Franc and Pinotage, cultivars that also thrive in leaner Tukulu soils. Nietlingshof wines are living proof of the delicate balance between terroir, plant and the winemaker's art. As a World Wildlife Fund conservation champion, the estate uses the absolute minimum pest control interventions in its drive to balance nature and winemaking on the estate. In keeping with global sustainability trends, all Nietlingshof wines are now also vegan. The continuous drive for sustainability, respect for nature and attention to detail in the vineyards, coupled with sound winemaking practices in the cellar, pays off year after year. The proof is in the many accolades bestowed on Nietlingshof's single varietal and blended ranges.